Hi everybody. So today in the eel pit you can see the eels are getting friendlier and friendlier. Starting to come right at me, but then it did end up spooking. I believe this was Neil here. Um, I feed the eels tilapia cut up now. This is tequila. But yeah, I feed them uh, frozen tilapia from the grocery store just cut up into little slices for them. But yeah, they are getting better and better every day. So this here is Neil and Melanie. They're the two friendliest eels. But uh, when I go down here every day, usually one or two eels will be swimming around. It's usually these two. And then uh, when I put food in the water, that's when they really start all coming out. But yeah, I've seen about six or seven eels at one time now. So they're all starting to come out more and more. But yeah, Neil on the left there, then Melanie takes the food. It's super cool to watch these guys just go all over the place, especially when they're out in the open. When they're out in the open swimming, that's because you just never see that in aquariums where they're just kind of endless space to actually open, open water swim. Then this is tequila again. He just let me get some really clear shots of him eating. But yeah, I only really feed the eels when I see them. I will leave food out sometimes for the ones I don't see, but the eels are going to come out when they smell food if they get hungry enough. Uh, I started with a dozen eels, and I assume there's a dozen in here still. I still do see Bathtub, who's the smallest, so I don't think there's any size issues there. Then the little catfish Vanessa there. And then over in this corner we have Shaquille. Shaquille O'Neal. Yeah. Then Crunchwrap Supreme didn't make an appearance today. But uh, he usually lives over by the filter on the other side. Then I'm going to mount the aluminum ladder to make it easier to get in and out of here soon. But yeah, you can see there's three eels right there. Then the food bowl is working. That's where I'll usually leave the food. And uh, they're starting to learn how to actually go over the lip of the bowl to get the food. That was uh, Neil once again. And here's just a little overview. The eels do have plenty of hiding spots. I rarely see the eels while I'm down here unless I'm feeding. But I will be adding more rocks, more driftwood, just kind of make it more natural. And I do want to try to get a vine that will grow on the wall. 